The music news for the streets, the music news for your beats, the news for the music stuff that you gonna need. We gon' talk about plugins, we gon' talk about gear. If it's news on this music, we gon' talk about it here. Let's go. Welcome to the music news for the streets. I'm your anchor man. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. And in today's newscast, we have all kinds of exciting stories from four freebies. We've got some new synths out there. Got a couple of deals for you guys. But our top story today comes from Native Instruments. It looks like they have just dropped a brand new instrument for the play series called Knock. And they also have an expansion to go with it called Void Eclipse. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the story. Um, so what is Knock? You may be asking yourself. Well, Knock is an edgy techno instrument, uh, unforgiving synths and distorted textures spanning the entire scope of techno. A program captivating rhythms and sequences with an intuitive step sequencer. Explore 150 editable presets, including basses, pads, leads, and special effects. A part of the play series, inspiring presets and real-time control in an intuitive interface. Um, so basically, it's going to look like this underneath the hood. But let's go ahead and hop into FL Studio, and I'll kind of show you what this thing looks like. Disclaimer, I absolutely did not make a demo beat to this. That's a lie. I absolutely made a demo beat to this and I'm not gonna play that demo beat because it's trash. <laughs> I've never made a, a techno beat before in my life. I tried. I... So uh, we're just gonna go ahead and go through some of these presets though so that you can hear what they sound like. Um, so this is kind of what Knock sounds like in action. Here's one of the presets. Um, so we'll just go through a few of the presets just so you guys kind of hear what it sounds like. Um, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. As you see here, you can go through them in different ways, like uh, special effects. Um, you got synths, you got bass, you got pads, and you got sequences. Let's just go ahead and go through some of these sequences real quick. and turn this BP, uh, BPM down to 120 real quick. All right, let's go ahead and check out some more. So with this, like all play series instruments, um, you can change out both of the layers because there's going to be two layers to every sound. So, you know, you got A and you've got B. Um, over here, you've got sound, and in the sound, you've got control over different things. So you've got transpose, tune, pan, volume, uh, reduce, crush, a noise, color, cutoff, resonance, gain, key track, and you can go through that from each one of the layers. Um, you've also got two different LFOs you can control, and you have different mod envelopes and the amp envelope over here you can control. Um, you're going to have a sequencer right here, so you can control the sequence. So if I was to hold something down... So you can see, you can change the sequence up really quick. Um, you know, you can mess with the velocity, obviously, to uh, get it to make the sound for you. Obviously, I know that sounded horrible, but I was just uh, grabbing stuff real quick, just so that you can see how easily you can get it to work. Um, you also have uh, macros over here. So your macros are gonna be all of your different effects, and then you'll see you'll be able to control the macros down here. The resonance matches here, the noise will match here, so on and so forth. Uh, so let's just go ahead and go through a few more presets for you guys so you guys can hear what it sounds like.
All right, and then we'll just go through a few of the other sounds. So let's go ahead and hear what some of these basses sound like. All right, let's see what else we got over here. Let's go ahead and check out a few of the synthesizers for you guys too. So I know there's gonna be plenty of content out on this today. So I'll go ahead and let the experts or the people who make techno give you guys a better example. I just wanted to bring it to the channel because obviously, you know, I know people of every genre watch the channel. So I just wanted to make sure I, you know, put this out there for you guys. So in breaking news, in what looks like to be the most Petty of petty moves I've ever seen in the YouTube production community. It looks like we have a disc plugin. <laughs> That's right, I said it, a disc plugin. So it looks like BusyWorks Beats has dropped a free plugin called Beige Rage. Oh, this is some of the pettiest stuff I ever seen, and I'm actually here for it. I'm like, forget it. You know what I'm saying? Who cares? Like. If y'all can watch everybody attack Busy and all these other people on the internet, why can't he get his petty off too? So uh, basically this is just a multi-effect plugin. Uh, you can use it for a few things. It has like a little filter sweep here. <laughs> the names though, bruh. Subtle shade, eye roll, backhead and compliment, petty response, slightly offended, inward sigh. Oh my God. If that doesn't explain the situation, it cracks me up. But basically you can use this on effects or you can use this for like transitions. So it's just okay. Um, I don't really know what every control does. I'm not even gonna lie. I just know that <laughs> this is subtle shade. <laughs> and this is eye roll. So I put it on this little beat. Um, this is what the little loop sounds like without the beige rage on there. I know y'all can't see it, but I really do have real tears rolling down my eyes. This cracks me up every time I open it up. So you can use this in this way right here. It's so like, let's say you wanna automate some kind of transition on your track. Um, you can throw it on there and it'll give you this like little filter sweep. Um, and then it, you know, it can give you a little change up for like two bars or four bars or something. So this filter plays as like a sweep. So, um, you know, you can turn this up a little bit. And this is kind of like a warble effect. It's kind of some kind of LFO effect. But you can also use it just on melodies. I think that's what his intent was when he originally made this. Um, but you've got some other controls over here too as well. So it's like this is adding a little bit of saturation and a little bit of um, compression, I believe. And then you can bring this down and I believe it adds a little bit of a distortion. So it's 
kind of like overdrive, but it's like when you bring it back, it's like it's it's crunching the sound a little bit. And then you have this. I believe this is somebody said it with like a Haas effect. I, I don't have that answer, though. It just kind of feels like it's like a stutter to me. So you can just use this on melodies though. I believe that's what his um, original intent was with this plugin. I don't have the answers. I'm just bringing it to you guys because it's free. But it kind of lo-fi's out the sound. So you hear how it just kind of lo-fi'd out the melody. So this is what the melody sounds like without it on there. probably turn this eye roll down a little bit. Now it's kind of got like a little chorus effect. And then we could turn this subtle shade back on. So it's all right, you can use it for like lo-fi sounds or you can use it for breaks in your beat or whatever it is that you wanna use it for. But again, I'll leave it linked below in the description so you can check it out. And up next, I've got another freebie for you guys today. This one is for the full version of Contact though. It's from Rigid Audio and it's called Sinferno. Uh, when you open up Sinferno, it is going to look like this. Um, basically, this is a plugin that has four different layers. So you have bass, you have a synth, you have an ambient layer and you have a groove layer. And you can play all the layers together or you can play them all separately. So like one of the sounds is gonna sound like. And then if I go up an octave. Then if I go up another octave. Oh, sorry. And then one more. Oh, sorry, I guess my keyboard won't go all the way up there. So what I did was I went ahead and I put down um, a bar's worth of notes in each one of the sections. And if you play them all together, you can get it to sound like this. Aha, got him. So I need to go up one more octave with this thing real quick um, so that we can get some drums. Now, if I play them all together. So it's got a whole bunch of different presets in this thing. I know it's like three gigabytes to download those. So we'll just go ahead and go through some of the presets real quick so you guys can kind of hear what they sound like. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. So you're gonna get stuff like that. Keep in mind that that is four different sounds layered together. So one layer is gonna sound like. Next layer. The next layer. And you can easily turn off a sound if you want to. Um, you can also hop underneath the hood. So with this, you can edit. So you can come here and you can mess with the amplitude, filters, um, compressor, saturation, low cut stereo width. But then each one of these is gonna have something different. So different sounds have different stuff. Like some sounds have flanger, some have reverb, um, some have you know chorus, other different things underneath there. Um, so that's pretty cool too as well. I guess maybe that's in the effects dial. So maybe I was just wrong. Uh, it's just over here. So I've only had this for a little bit. You know, I just seen it. I checked it out. I thought it'd be something I'd bring to you guys because I know some of you guys might want to rock with this. Crazy how today's uh, video, I got a lot of techno and like stuff that's outside of my wheelhouse, huh? Um, but we'll go ahead and check out some more presets for you guys too as well.
That's pretty fire right there. So this is all sample based, so everything is going to be a groove in this thing. Yeah, so this isn't a bad tool. I can see using this to mix in with some of my other sounds or other melodies and stuff like that, or maybe getting a start of a groove to a beat. But another one I'll leave linked below in the description. Uh, the next story I have for you guys today comes from Behringer. Uh, looks like Behringer has just dropped the UBXAD, the desktop version. Let's go ahead and take a look here at the story. Um, so Behringer's UBXAD is now available. The desktop version of the flagship synthesizer. Uh, more than two years after teasing a desktop rack mount version of the UBXA, the UBXAD is now available and shipping from Toman. Um, so this is just an update because, the, you know, I've talked about this before on the channel. At least I believe the full version of this with the keys on there. Um, but that's right. Over two years after teasing a keyboardless version of the UBXA, it has finally arrived and it is ready to ship from Toman. Looks like the price of this thing is $777. Um, the UBXA packs all the features of the original keyboard version into a compact desktop that can either sit on your desk or live in a 19 inch rack. And yes, the rack ears are included in the price. Um, every feature from the incredibly successful UBXA keyboard version has been packed into this unit. Simply hook it up to a MIDI keyboard controller, preferably one with polyphonic aftertouch. Um, you know what I'm saying? You'll have the time of your life. So, and if you're looking to fill up 512 patch memory slots, uh, why not check out these sounds featured in the weekly sounds and preset columns? So I think that they have some sounds or something down here for you guys, but yeah, 512 slots looks pretty nice. This thing is per day, um, you know, I know we hate on Behringer a lot, but I'm still going to report on them because I know a lot of y'all rock with them. So I know they do make decent stuff too as well. So there you go. I've got another freebie for you guys today. Uh, this one was free last month, but it is free again and it is Neutron Elements. You can go right on over to Plugin Boutique and grab this thing. Um, so I couldn't demo this thing because I have the full version of Neutron and for whatever reason, I cannot download elements because I have the full version and it's too much work to try to delete stuff. And it's just, it just, I just can't get it to work. So I can't give you guys a demonstration on this and I didn't want to be disingenuous and pull out the full version of Neutron and use that because they're not the same. Uh, but this thing is solid. It is like a, a channel strip, but you can also use it to level your sounds and help your mixes too as well. Um, this thing is fire because it's AI. And you can put AI on like a guitar, it'll recognize the guitar and then it'll do stuff. It'll put the effects on there to bring out the dynamics that you want, or you can put it on drums and it'll make the drums hit harder. You can put it on whatever instrument it is that you want, um, even vocals, and it'll just make them sound better. Um, this is a very stripped down version from the full version, um, but it's available for Mac and Windows. And I'll just read this because I don't have elements. So in contrast, Neutron 4 Elements is all about getting the core tasks in a mix down quickly and with minimum knob twiddling. Isotope calls Neutron 4 Elements an AI-powered channel strip that's made to help producers sculpt sounds seamlessly while staying in your flow and mix in the moment. Uh, the flagship feature of the plugin is the AI integration, which is designed to allow users to quickly dial in their sounds within the workflow of a single channel strip. Um, this thing dropped a few years ago and it's been out for a while, but for a free tool, I think this is pretty solid too. I think we've got a lot of free tools that have been pretty solid in the last couple months. So. If you haven't grabbed this, I'd recommend going to grab it because you can use it later on a cross grade into other Isotope stuff. And then up next, I've got another freebie for you guys today. Uh, this freebie is from Vox Samples and it's called Vow Changer. Uh, when you open up Vow Changer, it's gonna look like this. I, I didn't download this either. I've got enough four mint filters. Uh, this one looks kind of cool though, because with this one, what they say is Vow Changer format filter is a high quality effect that changes the vowel of any sound in your project. Most effective on vocals, but it works wonders on complex sounds with harmonics, including synths, guitars, keys, etc. So you can use it on anything. Um, start by increasing the three middle knobs, the A, the E, and the U, um, and then, you know, mix them to get the sound that you want. Um, so, I mean, you know, you can change the width on this thing too, but it's just a format filter. Um, but Vox, it seems like these dudes have been dropping stuff like every single week. Every, every day I wake up and I see something from them. So... You know what I'm saying? If you're looking for a format filter or something that's a little more interesting, uh, a little different kind of format filter than what you have, uh, go ahead and check this out. 
And it looks like the Udo Audio Super 8 synthesizer is now available to purchase. Let's go ahead and take a look here at this story. So this is the Udo Audio Super 8 synthesizer. It is now available to order. Let's take a look at this thing. It does look pretty. Um, I like the white design. Um, it looks kind of you know reminiscent to an old school synthesizer, but it still looks pretty solid. Uh, let's go ahead and read a little more about this thing. So at Superboot 24, Udo Audio revealed the Super 8 16 voice hybrid analog synth in the same vein as the Super 6 and the Super Gemini. Um, it is available right now to pre-order for $3,229. It's not a whole lot to read here about it, but it just says the Udo wanted to make something a little more portable than the Gemini, but still with the same kind of power, focusing on playability and performance. It has polyphonic aftertouch keyboard. In fact, the same one as the Gemini. According to the Sonic State video below, Udo Audio may eventually do a 20 voice upgrade to it. Uh, the Super Touch 49, speaking of upgrades, Udo also has a limited edition poly aftertouch keyboard upgrade coming for the Super 6 owners called the Super Touch 49. I know that that's not related to this story, but it's there, so I just read it. So if this is something you've been looking at or something that you're interested in, you know, it's now available for pre-order. All right, guys, and the last thing I got for you guys today is just a few deals. So it looks like over at Plugin Boutique, you can cross-grade into the Isotope uh, bundle for $249. So if you have any Isotope product, you can cross-grade over into this and you can get everything basically. And what's all coming in here is gonna be Ozone 11 Advanced. You're gonna get Nectar 4 Advanced. Um, you're going to get Guitar Rig Pro 7. Um, you're going to get RX-11 Standard. Um, you're gonna get Neutron 4. You're gonna get Symphony 3D, Stratus 3D, Neo Verb. Um, you're gonna get Vocal Synth 2. You're gonna get Insight 2. You're gonna get Tonal Ballast Control. You're gonna get Brainworks Delay, uh, Brainworks Boom, Brainworks Saturator, Brainworks Subsynth. Um, you're gonna get Brainworks uh, Clean Sweep Pro, you know, a bunch of Brainworks stuff. I'm not really sure how good that is. I know this audio lens is fire used with the other Isotope products. Um, so you're gonna get a whole lot. I mean, for 250, damn, that's one of those deals that you're not gonna beat anywhere else. So that's a solid deal. Another deal that we have is this Lunacy uh, Summer deal. So you guys know I love the Cube. Um, you can get the Cube right now on sale for $99 for 44% off. If you did pick up Beam, then you can cross grade to $79 and then they have a bunch of other deals. So you can cross grade from Q mini up to the cube for $60, but they just have a bunch of deals here that you can, you can cross grade into uh, minimal audio has some deals. So if you like rift, I never really use this, but I know a lot of people love uh, minimal audio stuff. So they got some deals over here right now, um, you know, that are going to go on for the next few days. I mean, get ripped for 50% off, hybrid filter for 42% off, and then all this other stuff is on sale as well. All right, guys, I guess that's all I got for you guys in today's newscast. Hopefully I could help you guys out with a couple of the freebies. Hopefully I could give you guys a laugh because the pettiness <laughs> has been unmatched at this point. So make sure if you guys do like this content though, you drop a whole elbow on that like button, hit subscribe and that notification bell. So every time we bring you guys a new video, you can be the first to see. Signing off as your anchor man. Some, some, some. Hit the keys. Until next time. Peace. Some, some, some. Hit the keys.